Hi, this is Mo Cammers from MHNK Associates. This is the second of four videos where we're looking at the four steps that can be taken to review and include the data historian as part of your performance improvement plans. The first step was a data historian audit or health check. In the video, we discussed the importance of understanding the health of the historian and the scale of improvements that were possible, even when they were considered small or marginal. The second step is the internal assessment of your operational activities. This is an opportunity to fully understand the consumers of your real-time historian data. From when your historian was first installed or from when it was last audited, there may have been various operational changes. These changes could be due to equipment changes, the implementation of new solutions that source data from the historian, or simply new demands from various discipline groups. An internal assessment is a good opportunity to fully understand your data consumer audience and establish whether their data needs are being met. Known data consumers will form the initial stakeholder list, but other discipline groups should also be contacted. Various disciplines may use the data for reporting, environmental auditing and asset performance management to name just a few of many possible data uses. Having a simple communication strategy in which a memo goes out to inform the wider stakeholder audience ahead of this activity taking place will be an effective way of bringing awareness and participation of this assessment activity. An effective way of collecting this information is in the form of a questionnaire which will ask questions such as are they getting the data they need in the correct format and at the right frequency? What is the quality of the data they are receiving? Other questions will include whether they transform or further cleanse the data before consumption. This question will help to identify whether there is any manual manipulation of the data before usage. The aim will be to automate this activity and eliminate any manual data manipulation steps. So in general the questionnaire should identify where data needs are not being met, highlight opportunities for improvement and identify opportunities to improve or further leverage the use of the process historian. This will help to build up a picture that may identify common data related problems or inefficient workflow practices that could be improved upon. It could be that a calculation that several applications or disciplines could benefit from is not calculated in the historian, causing data mismatches. This is just one example where issues around source data and duplication is uncovered and can be resolved. At MHNK Associates we have a data historian questionnaire that can help you with this step and we can also produce a report that summarises immediate and longer term improvements that can be made. So as a summary, the internal assessment is an effective way to verify the present data needs are being met, what improvements can be made, and new data requirements that were not previously accounted for. Thank you for watching and do share your thoughts. In the next video, we'll look at the next step of the review and improvement process, which is the creation of a roadmap for making improvements.